so hard to like project with them. What do you think young boy is in 10 years? 10 years He's from now. Try polar. It's hard to tell. Hopefully, if, if I'm a young boy, hopefully I can be in my like, I'm able to put artists on better. Almost like a Wayne. That's what, that's what I hope for him. Hey, I, listen. Yeah, because he fumbled no cap. Hey, listen. I, I want you to answer this honestly. When Future dropped Tony Montana, did you see Future no. being this Future? No, I couldn't stand future it. Future is like a religion, thing. though. That's the thing about it. No, no. Now like, he is. But back then, he felt like a Southern artist that just had a bop. But then he kept the coming with it. And then now, like, Future just seems like, he just seems like the artist, man. He just seems, it's a reason why niggas started saying, yo, he's the Jay-Z of the South. Like, I think he walked, I think he, he, he walked so a lot of these niggas could run. He was one of the first niggas getting flack for mumbling, one of the first niggas getting flack for singing, one of the first niggas getting flack for, for like, singing about doing drugs. Wayne did too, but he did it a little better. And I think... He, he grew into that shit. Like when I first heard Tony Montana, I couldn't really stand it. But when I heard him, when I heard that he wrote racks on racks on racks, I was like, ah, we do, we might have somebody on our hands. Yeah. At that point, I'm I was saying like, that y'all didn't understand him because y'all are not from the South. That's like a fact. when we heard when, when we heard Thug and when Mumble Rap became a thing, like they talked about the Migos, people uh, like us in the South, we understood it. It was everybody from up north and out west who didn't understand it, and now your ears can adjust to it now. Mm. That's a fact because we didn't have too many people like that, and niggas like them franchise boys and D4L, they were a little more understandable, and they didn't really say too much. Just lean with it, rock with it. These niggas be saying everything, punching in, you know what I'm saying, doing all kind of shit. So it took uh, some years for West Coast and outside of people from the South to get hit to 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 to, to kind of just. Knowing the lyrics just from hearing it, you know what I'm saying? It took time. Future walk so these niggas can run. It, for sure. I remember the times that I thought, "Oh no, Future the guy," and I and, and I remember saying, "This guy is going to change the entire landscape of music." And a lot of it also came with when I saw how he was able to work with other people, when he was able to work with Ciara and give her, you know, um, um, well they had to turn on the lights and they did the, the remix, like. I, I noticed that, and even when he worked with Rihanna later for the love, like, he, I, I realized, I said, he's not only a guy who has a voice that people like, he's a soul writer. He's the nigga who, he write. like, he comes in with the, as long as I got good cushion alcohol. Like, he's, he, I, I realized he's an artist. And that was the realization for me with Future. I said, damn, this guy is really fucking good. And then, remember, I don't know if y'all y'all know, he worked with Beyonce and them on Drunk in Love. Or did he? I think mm -hmm. something like that. He was turning into the Drake. Because you remember when you couldn't escape hearing Drake on everybody's fucking hook? Once it was future, I knew, like, yeah, he's out of here. He got the formula. He's on every nigga's hook, and he's making oh, yeah. phenomenal songs just from the hook. Yo, yo, he wrote Drunk in Love, bro. Like, That's come, insane. Like, come on, man. Future drunken, like, come on. And then, bro, everybody who came out from that point on, I think Future is kind of the granddad of the little dark sound. No, He's the course. granddad of the of a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, if we look at him as an apostle of toxic masculinity. Like, you look at Future of, like, yo, oh, this is how I'm supposed to be. That's a fact. Yo, there was a time, and I remember vividly, like, around 2014, um... Like, put like this, and this is no shade towards uh, Meek, but there was a time that Meek was looked at like the East Coast, like uh, an equivalent to like Future in the South. These days, I think we look at Future like he's just a fucking king. And like, yes, Meek is definitely a, a, a well-established contributor and, and he had a great career um, coming from the East Coast. But like Future just kind of almost turned the entire game into like his sons, like in a way. Like when I when I hear a little baby, when I hear gun in them, like even with shit when I hear Thug, like you know I think Thug took took that type of acceptable style. I'm not gonna say it took his style, that acceptable style brought it this way. He probably took a little bit of Wayne as well, right? So I think I think Thug That's was Wayne, Wayne Future made his own shit, right? 
And then you get the people like Gunna, Baby, who kind of take from everybody of the sort. But it's shit, it kind of works. But I think people just realize now, and that's why I'm glad that, you know how long it took for Future to sell over 200,000 first week? And he's been hot for so long. Even back, I, I, well, I might be wrong with this, but I think he was selling the 150s back then. Even when he was doing like the trilogy, decade. even when he was doing the trilogy with, you know what I mean, DS2. Bro, I feel like he's never been hotter than he is now. And Future is a nigga who's been hot in different eras, which usually sometimes niggas have one run that is cool out. I think it's because I think it's because the youth loves that nigga. I think he makes good pain and street music. Like he appealed to niggas who hooked on drugs and street niggas and white people in the middle of America. And I think he do good with like bringing in the next generation. Like how he just popped up with the real Boston Richie feature. Like he do real good with reaching out to the next wave yeah, and so and meshing it real well. And you know what I realize about people who eventually become that guy even if they didn't get there yet they're always good with seeing other people talent too like for example yo you know future was fucking with dirk wait when dirk got dropped dirk got dropped yeah, right from, uh, what was the def jam he yeah, was he got bullshit from, yeah and future was pulling up on him in chicago doing shit he ain't had no re he could have been like man this little, little dirk nigga get him out of here but he saw some shit uh, and then when you see dirk popping now you're like damn this thing of future like he was always tapped in. He ain't never seemed like like the corny nigga who was, you know what I mean? He he don't look like he's riding waves. That's one thing about Future I can say. I never look at him and say he riding waves. Ever. And that's another person we got to add in there too at is Dirk. Because people don't remember, bro. Dirk with the fade, with the taper fade, that was not the Dirk we have today. That nigga was not singing. He wasn't doing uh, none of that. And he that evolved. Was the, he really kept all shit going. So let me ask him. Uh, so, you know, again, this is obviously subjective, but are we thinking that Dirk has a couple more levels to hit before he peaks out? Or do we think he may have hit his peak already? I think I don't know. It's kind of hard because Dirk is real talented. But it's like, how do you get bigger than fucking Dirk like two or three years ago when he first first brought Vaughn out? He was fighting all them cases. That nigga was on top of the world. And also he had like Vaughn with him, too. So it's kind of like. He don't have Vaughn no more because, like, I'm not going to lie. When Vaughn was alive, a lot of what really helped Dirk remerge was the emergence of King Vaughn. I that believe that twin we, shit. I believe what's yeah. going to happen now is that I think Dirk is a little bit at the fork and the crossroads, too. So I don't think there's – I don't think it's possible, like, especially you're talking about with the whole – when, when Vaughn was around this. And I don't know if it's possible that Dirk could get any bigger – just on a, if he's on a street level. I think he has to start crossing over more. But then that always, like, will he still be able to keep that edge if he fully crosses over? Now, what happened to Virgil was a great song. How much more nose could he give where, like, I feel like that's mainstream enough, but the, the his core audience don't feel like, what the fuck is this? Like, But gonna carry. Hmm. Gonna carry. I think a ah. good way. I think a good way to carry your legacy Gunna onto the though. next wave is doing what Wayne did, doing what Rick Ross did, doing what niggas like that. It is finding your next best person, signing them and bringing them up. I agree too, but I've always thought about it. I said, well, look at look at look look at Drake, and, and I mean, who is Future gave us? Uh, Doughboy. I, I know, salute to Doughboy, but, no, but like no good. The future did give us um Young Scooter. Young I was Scooter gonna say Young Scooter. I, I okay. was waiting for you to say that. I was gonna say Scooter. Okay. What do we think about Drake with that though? Because I think that's the only, one of the only knocks they're gonna give about Drake. They're gonna no, nah, no. Nah, but Drake gave us a lot of classic. Like when you think about R and B and like new school R and B, you think of Division. You think of Roy Woods. You think of My J Jordan. You think of those Party people door, of for like this new era of R and B. So Drake gave us that. Yeah, but Drake never gave us another rapper. I don't think that's what Drake wants to do. I think Drake likes being famous by himself. Do you think that would be used as a knock against him? I think he has to stop focusing on just like pulling up random people from Toronto just because they're from Toronto and find good talent. Well, yeah, he, he, he's give us a smiley. Do we really think Smiley is talented, bro? But at the same time, smiley, he did put, put press yo, on too, though. Yo, 
And also, I did hear a lot of people that's from Toronto, when they hear the Smiley song, like us in America, we didn't like that. But in Toronto, that's people nice. really like this Smiley stuff because that's how they talk. Hey, can y'all hear the Ice Spice? Can you hear the, the Smiley in Ice Spice? Nah, nah. I heard about that. What? You can't? I heard about that. Look. You can't look, 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 go here, go here. Uh, uh, you thought I was feeling you, but the Kanye West AI version, nigga, it sounds like Smiley. Yo, Yay One, thank you for the hundred dollar donations. Holy, appreciate you, brother. I forgot I had a song for that. Thank you for that. Uh, Yay One, uh, cause get in the Discord, and if, if someone sees him, drag him, drag him to our uh, VC that I'm in. He says, add me to uh, VC. I got a question. Do you think if Tory would have beat that case, he would have been the hottest artist out? Now, you see, this is a good question, but this is what I'm talking about. You, you could have the hottest moment and not be the hottest artist, right? So I think he would have had the, he would have been the hottest moment. And if he had dropped music, that would have lived up to it. He could have made a bid to be the hottest artist, but not because you be the case, you're the hottest artist now. You know what I mean? It's like, like you know, these days, things go by like so quickly. I was watching on my channel. It's been two days since I streamed. Yo, Kevin Gates just got exposed by a tranny. And like, it's two days later, we're like, all right, that's in the past. Like, I'm telling you, shit goes by really quick now. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like shit goes by mad quick. Like, we literally just forgot that tranny said she sucked off Kevin Gates, bro. Like, literally, dog. Living like, in a microwave. Microwave media world. Microwave media. Yeah, the only time Man, sh shit feels like it kind of... Let me tell you why it's not off, because Kevin Gates didn't respond to it, and he went with the 48-hour rule. <laughs> yeah, and, and it feels like the only shit that kind of lasts these days is either when people... Like, the only moments or whenever that lasts long is when people either get incarcerated or when they die. As long as you keep living and you're making new moments, people forget get about the old moments. Like, if I tell you some shit that probably happened six months ago, I'm like, damn, that was six months ago? Because, like, we're constantly, we're in a 24-hour news cycle. There's always something else. Somebody else is doing some shit crazy. I remember telling myself that when shit, like, they would just say some dumb shit about me on, 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 on like, you know, like, Shayru was posting. I was just like, yo, this is your week. Like, this is your week. They're going to try to f find anything. And shit, like, even, like, I told that nigga Adam that. I was like, yo, Adam, let's just lay low for a bit, man. They're going to try to find any and everything for this week and then afterwards they're gonna not really for like forgive or forget but they're gonna s talk about you a little bit less than a little bit less and then three months later they're like why did i hate this guy as long as you're not completely keep doing fuck shit or whatever the case is so unfortunately well, well fortunately shit don't really stick these days i'm telling you like kevin gates literally is going to be allowed to not respond to a tranny sucking him off like yo do you know how big of a deal that was like back 20 years ago imagine if you heard that somebody was like yo people could have any type of rumors and nobody cares like for example wendy williams had made some references that she believed that puff daddy aka diddy aka brother love might have been gay bro she got fired for it. it was the biggest thing in the culture is he gay is he what's going on now bro niggas could do anything bro like to keep it real, niggas can see two men kiss and still wonder if a nigga's gay. Bad Bunny just kissed a whole nigga and we're like, was that just for cameras or is he fucking the dude? It's like, like I'm telling you.